through my personal journey and whatever i have learned on this path of spirituality i have found that you know enlightenment is a very complex thing to even understand for humans uh throughout human history there are there have been a handful of individuals who have got this thing called enlightenment what i have understood is after this phenomena happens there are two choices for every individual who does this right uh first one is that you know some individuals uh might uh, take a path of seclusion for example we see many yogis who live in seclusion in himalayas just to enjoy i guess their journey of spirituality and meditation and maybe you know they don't want to be associated with this complex world after they have found something new and good right mm. second path i have seen which has been taken even lesser by individuals and uh, enlightened souls uh, example comes into mind of gautam buddha guru nanak osho who took this path of uh, guiding others in this pursuit of enlightenment and uh, you know attaining something beyond yourself so my question to you is very simple but also complex <laughs> why did you guruji choose personally this very difficult path of guiding human beings in this pursuit where you know humans are so much involved in their mind and they don't even believe in this unexplored dimension right so as per me this is a very difficult thing why did you choose to do this quite interesting dheeras but first of all i must tell you when people say and talk to me they just start addressing as to when i achieved enlightenment in this regard i have first of all to tell you that it is quite ridiculous to say that i achieved enlightenment in fact it is a misnomer all talk of achieving enlightenment happens to be a misnomer simply because every human being is born enlightened it is our very nature so if you have got something with your birth you cannot say that you have achieved it right it is simply a realization that i am an organic part of this whole universe okay and you see this realization gives you a feeling of unity a feeling of oneness with the whole it seems as something is vibrating within me and that is the center of the whole universe and you may say i find myself as a part of the whole or i may feel as if i am the whole itself in other words it is also to me a realization of the simple truth that everything is happening in this existence we are not the doers we are only seers and it is the infinite intelligence of this existence that is doing everything and once you have this realization you come to understand that all our misery all our worry is simply a by product of our mind otherwise our life in itself is absolutely blissful and i want to tell you that the key to enlightenment is only to develop an understanding of the mind once you understand your mind fully well you will 
achieve freedom from the worries and miseries that are created by the mind and you see the only art and the only science that can serve as a key to understanding your mind is the art of witnessing and all other things which have been popular in the spiritual world in the name of meditation mindfulness awareness prayer worship all these things they are nothing but simply devices of being in a state of witnessing okay okay very beautifully answered guru ji as i said mm-hmm. it is a little complex to understand for a person like me who is not there yet you know it is very clear in your mind but as you asked me another question associated with enlightenment is as to why i chose the path of guiding others yes in fact once i experience that state of freedom from worries and miseries i had an intense feeling that people in this world are unnecessarily suffering every body is in a state of tension and turmoil people are living in this world as if this world has become a hell mm-hmm. life has become a trouble life has become a struggle for every single individual on this earth and i find people groaning in pain mm-hmm. and just as it may happen to you just as it may happen to anybody it happened to me there was specifically no big philosophy behind adopting the path of guiding others suppose you happen to meet someone who is crying out of pain he is suffering and seeing his pain you feel compassionate towards him you know that you have got a right medicine that can cure him and provide freedom from his pain will you pass by or you will stop to help him mm-hmm. if you pass by ignoring him you will be filled with a sense of guilt mm-hmm. yep that is something that happened with me i felt that people can easily be freed from the tortures and miseries they are passing through so it was out of my love out of my compassion that i could not stop myself for not being available to them for helping them and that is why i chose the path of guiding them and you see once i started living established within my own self i felt that it was my inner responsibility and this inner sense of responsibility to share everything that you have with those who need it that motivated me to put one step forward in this direction right and thirdly i would like to tell you that perhaps i have some karma of my past lives yet to fulfill <laughs> yet to be completed and that has created a desire in me the desire of helping others it simply means that something still remains to be done something still remains to be accomplished mm. for fulfilling those karmas and for that i have to do this job of spreading my experience to more and more people and that is why i am trying to reach out to more and more people on this planet mm. 